What's going on guys, welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 11. This is the 11th week which we get to feature two proven very successful Facebook ads. So these are Facebook ads which have millions of views, thousands of comments, thousands of reactions. Basically when you find a successful Facebook ad, then you can essentially see and uncover all of the inner workings of that proven business, essentially a business which is definitely making money because nobody continues to spend money on a Facebook ad unless it's returning that money and then some. So this week is no different to any other. I've got two proven Facebook ads to show you guys. We're going to be breaking them down, having a look at the creative, taking a look in the comment section, seeing what people are saying about these products and this business. I'll also be showing you the Shopify stores selling these products too. So you will get to see the proven product page layout, descriptions, design, um, all of that good stuff that you can take away yourself and use as inspiration. And last but certainly not least, I will be showing you where you can source these products um, from AliExpress. AliExpress, to be honest, it's not always my go-to supplier, but as a starting point, it's the best place in my opinion, because every other supplier and agent works to AliExpress. So if you have a link you can send to them it makes it so much easier to then explore other sourcing opportunities for a product what it also allows you to do is see what you can buy it for see what you can sell it for and then see if it's going to be cost effective for you basically depending on what country you're going to be shipping it to so with that being said then guys if you want to see two new products every single week um, proven businesses that we explore on the channel make sure you subscribe and um, i can't stress enough that if you're not quite seeing or haven't built the business that you're hoping for that there's no better way to learn than in videos like this and actually taking a look at Shopify stores which are doing it successfully. It's super important that you learn from people that are doing things the right way because then the things that you absorb, the knowledge you use, the strategies you see, the products you see are all proven and working. Um, and that sort of thing is what's gonna rub off on you and help you find your own profitable product and build your own successful Shopify store. So with that being said, let's jump into Facebook ad number one. So Facebook ad number one, let's kick it off by taking a look at the actual video itself. Um, it's like a Harrier jet. It's kind of like a drone, but at the same time a plane. Um, in my opinion, like a super cool product. It has all these different kind of like functions and skills you can do. You can fly it indoors. You can do, um, you can go into chairs like that, which was pretty cool. You can do barrel rolls, which is pretty cool. All in all, just a pretty cool product. Um, and quite an effective one to use on social media too. Like this is a super simple Facebook ad creative. If we go back, you can actually see a bit that's been blurred out here. So I'm suspecting these guys have just stolen the content from the original um, filmmaker to use as a Facebook ad creative. I don't recommend you do that. Um, however, it just goes to show how not easy, easy is the wrong word, but how simple it can be um, to make some money if you've got the right product. With obviously Christmas being around the corner, this one is a no brainer. So if you are still looking for that one product to try and make the most of what we have left. Um, you're cutting it extremely fine now. I'd probably stay away from Chinese suppliers unless you have some form of a guarantee. Definitely look at local suppliers if you wanna get yourself or get your hands on this product. Let's take a look at some numbers then because the numbers don't lie. Um, this is from a company called the vent of, bit of a weird name, um, 45 reactions, 45,000 reactions, nearly 4,000 comments and over 6 million views. A creative like this doesn't get this level of engagement and viewership um, unless it's making money. Let's see what people are saying about it in the comment section though because um, we want to make sure it's a good quality product and people are happy with it. So Michael says you bought it for your nephew, now he's addicted to it eight weeks ago. What's the battery life? Just came in today, love it wife already mad which is pretty funny i just bought this for myself which is pretty funny i ordered a few i got one for the grandkids i chased the dogs with this um a drown shaped like a fighter there can be some weird comments on facebook ads by the way what a great retirement gift my grandson would love it I see an increase in nighttime UFO sightings two days ago. That's the other thing we want to check. In fact, let's go up to most relevant and go for newest. Just make sure we're getting recent comments on this. So 32 minutes, 37 minutes, an hour, an hour, an hour, two hours, two hours, two hours, two days, seven hours, seven hours, eight hours, eight hours, nine hours. So basically what this means and the reason I'm checking this is because if people are commenting this in the present time and in recent time, just goes to show this is working right now. As I mentioned in the introduction, nobody pays to run an ad creative unless it's working. So for all intensive purposes, this is a proven winning product that's selling right now. Let's take a look at a supplier I found for this store. So this is one of the very first ones I found to be honest. I went for these guys because they've been in business for a couple of years, which is a pretty decent time to be honest for a typical AliExpress supplier. You'll see a lot kind of like pop up in the space of 12 months. Their seller ratings aren't great. So if it was me, if I did want to build a business around this product, I'd definitely be looking for um, agencies um, or agents, I should say, which are a bit more reliable. I'll take a look at the content which they've got. Um, some suppliers do have pretty decent content that to be honest you can just steal and use as your Facebook ad creative. In this instance I 
Oh, you could use this to be fair. I'd definitely crop out this Chinese writing though, because that's going to be a massive put off um, for anybody who sees this. As for the product price, there's lots of different variants starting at about £26, goes up to £30. 3275 being the most expensive depending on what batteries you want so there's some good upsell opportunities there you could definitely offer bigger batteries that sort of thing join the checkout process to help boost um, the average order vol um, average order value i should say i believe this is just the same video and then there's some kind of generic text and information and some half decent imagery to be honest that you could steal and put on your own store just make sure you do edit it and customize it make it original put your own logos and that sort of thing on it as for the store selling this product they have a very basic store if i may say so but it just goes to show because of how effective or how good the product is and the time of year that it is um people tend to kind of look past certain things or they're less bothered by how professional a store looks if the product is just that exciting um, and they just want to buy it there and then. Let's just go through the product page though and have a look at what they're doing. I'll kind of point out the things that I like and don't like. Um, I like this, the 1.6 thousand months sold. It doesn't really make sense, but um, I like the fact that you're kind of saying how many people have bought it. eBay do a similar thing to help kind of social proof, but also scarcity. It's been recommended by 906 people on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Mm, I'd probably split test that one, not too keen on that one if I'm honest. They have different buttons for the variants, which is something I recommend for everybody. They're selling products for £50, so there's different, decent profit margin in there. Especially for products like this, like there's a lot of tech to it, a lot of moving parts. I think people would expect to probably pay a little bit more for this, so that would be something I would split test if I was selling this product myself. I'd start it at the lower range of, say, £50, see what the conversion rate is for the first couple of weeks, and then slowly but surely kind of bump that up week by week and just make sure that in turn it does keep bringing me more money basically so i really like the buttons as variants because it's one less click that a consumer has to do um they have this progress bar tight inventory it doesn't really make sense 1600 visitors currently looking at this product if i was if it was me i'd probably put this up here with those other ones um, i would certainly tidy and neaten this up and just make it that bit clearer um, like what's actually going on they have a dynamic checkout button which is also a must in my opinion people like to be able to shop with um, methods that they feel safe with so paypal Klarna, having all that sort of thing on there is really good buy more save more doesn't really make sense safety certificate again i'll probably remove this they have this nice gif which is kind of cool but in my mind just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb doesn't really help with the um, kind of flow of the product page and then they have lots of different text lots of different fonts emojis some in bold some in orange lots of different things they have a bit of um, like a snapshot of a testimonial from amanda in the united states they basically have all of like the right information and descriptions and nice imagery that sort of thing but they just don't lay it out in a very nice way so if it was me i would probably take like a similar like amount of info and type of information but i just tidy it up to make it look a bit more professional and so that was product number one a brilliant product i know christmas is coming up but i definitely think something like this could sell for probably all throughout the year to be honest the toy niche in itself is such a big one there's definitely enough buying power from consumers to make something like this a consistent seller until christmas next year moving on to product number two in my mind one of the best products anybody new to drop shipping could get themselves into especially now right here in the uk um you may or may not have seen this product before it's basically a heated jacket i'll show you the creative in a second but i just want to stress how much of a good product this is and how current and relevant it is for the time of year so not only are we in the middle of winter and it's freezing cold it's like two or three degrees in the morning so that in itself is going to mean there's increased demand for it but we're also in a cost of living crisis energy electricity gas prices are becoming unaffordable for a lot of people so people are taking action and looking for alternative ways to keep warm and one way people are doing this is looking for heated clothing. If you think I'm completely bonkers and out of my mind, if we take a look at the search term of heated jacket on Google Trends, we can see that every single year it spikes in popularity, which is obvious, October, November, December, January time. However, look, we are currently on a breakout, December 2022, and it's been the most popular. In fact, it has been double the most popular it has ever been in the last 16 years. If you are looking for somewhere to hedge your bets and hedge your money on a product that's going to be a consistent seller for the next at least four or five months, then this would be the one. So with that being said, let's jump in and take a look at the creative. Super easy creative. Um, they've got a real life person. It sounds strange saying, but you don't see that very often in drop shipping creative. So it's super important because it just kind of le legitimizes the whole business. If I'm not mistaken, they've actually changed the profile picture to match 
match the person in the video creative as well. So there's just a nice touch to help kind of um, come across as a bit more professional and legitimate for any of your viewers. Let's take a look at the numbers then. Like I said, numbers don't lie. So 10,000 reactions, 2,000 comments, and over 2,000 shares. Let's see what people are saying about this thing. Might be helpful. I love mine. So Sandra has one that was 18 minutes ago, which is a good sign. Um, Carlos loves his. Um, he uses it for hunting, working, winter softball. So there's some target markets for your Facebook ad creatives. Dawn says she has a heated coat and she loves it. David says he has one. It's great for when playing golf. I've never actually thought about that. I might get one for when I'm playing golf. Um, but there's another, again, another kind of angle for your um, ad creatives on Facebook. Brett says he loves mine. Um, they need gloves and socks. So I spoke about those in some previous videos. There's another product idea. Um, you could get into heated gloves and heated socks. Sharon says she loves hers. Jeff says he loves mine. And these are all within the last few weeks as well. So again, it just goes to show that people are buying this product right now. Let's take a look at the Shopify store selling this product. It's a store called scorchedsurvival.com. So if you want to check them out, you can. Um, I'm not sure if this is the product page actually. Let's, um, let's see if we can actually find it. It was this product here. So it was a product page. As we can see, not a typical format or setup. Um, it's quite a strange one, but in a way I like it because there's too many kind of like typical dropshipping stores that just follow a, de a default Shopify template and it becomes them super easy to spot. And if somebody's been scammed by a dropshipping store or they've had to have wait weeks or they've had really bad customer service and they're using that typical Shopify template and then they come onto your store and even though you're a super professional legitimate business, but you're using that same template, they're gonna make that connection and it's gonna be off-putting for people. So using custom layouts and designs like this really help separate you from any other typical um, dropshipping store. So straight away at the top, they have the countdown timers to help um, encourage a bit of scarcity into people actually buying the products there. And then they have a nice gift showing the exact parts of the vest which heat up all of the kind of like the key parts. They have the price of the product, which is $90. Wait until I see or show you what you can buy this for. They have a really nice image. They have these kind of moving parts, these moving icons, really professional, a bouncing add to cart button. We can see they've put a lot of time and effort into really customizing this product page. If you were to come across two stores, this one selling it for $90, which looks super professional and custom and original imagery, lots of social proof, that sort of thing. And then come across a default Shopify store selling it for $20 cheaper, but it's similar to that store that kind of scammed you a few weeks ago probably nine times out of ten you're going to go for this store so I can't stress enough the importance of having a really well designed and custom Shopify store that being said they finish off the product page as the majority of Shopify stores do with looks reviews but to be honest with what they have going on up here then my guess would be that most people are sold on the products and probably don't get as far as the reviews so take note of the selling price then 180 reduced all the way down to $90 what a great deal if we head on to AliExpress we can see 14 pounds with free delivery 12 pounds with free delivery 13 pounds free delivery, 14 pounds, 11 pounds. This is a product you can get delivered to your customer for 15 pounds, which is about $20, I, I would say. Um, and they're selling it for $90. So there's $70 of room in there to sell this product. Super high profit product. And there's also so much potential to be had with upsells and cross sales as well. So here, heated trousers, and you could, like somebody mentioned in those comments, heated gloves, heated socks. You could definitely suck somebody into your Shopify store with a product like this for $50, but then get them to spend an extra $30 on gloves, an extra $40 on trousers. And before you know it, somebody spent $100, $150 with you. You've made $100 per sale and you can just continue to do that and scale your business up to big numbers. If you're going to go down that route, I definitely recommend having a payment provider like Klarna so people can split those payments over a few months just to help with the cost of it. And I think all in all, if you get this right, you can be on to a really good winner. And so with that being said, I'm going to wrap the video up there. There's the two new Facebook ad creatives. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said, it's super important videos like this which show you everything behind a successful and winning business so if you do want to see a video like this every single week i'll keep it going as long as you guys keep enjoying it then make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're looking for a bit of extra help to get your business started and ultimately learn from somebody who does this successfully like myself make sure you check out my free training it's the top link in the video description below it's a step-by-step -step training to help you launch your business in the next 21 days thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one